I think we'll strap two of these to something else. Is that possible? Well, I think we'll use the merge function. Let me just extend that and save it, and then we'll build the other thing. Okay, so we'll say that we are going to make a pod that is going to bring back our science from the station. And then we're going to strap the little car sharks onto the side of it. With that in mind, the thing that will bring back our science will be a trusty Mark 1-3 pod. I think we'll have a docking port on the nose. And then we'll have radial parachutes. There's just the re-entry portion, that should be alright, right? We'll have a launch escape system just for the show of it. Mm, we don't have any conical hydrogen tanks is the problem right now. I want to reuse this stage potentially. I don't think it's a good idea, but... You know what, that's just going overboard. Maybe these should be on this side, because that this side looks stronger than that side, huh? But then again, we've got to put big boosters on this side, so maybe that's okay. Okay, now this stage. You need to tell me about this stage. This stage definitely does not have a thrust weight ratio less than one. Okay, well, I mean, we've got that there. I just wanted to see the sea level. I guess we can do that there. 1.66 Well, there's a lot going on here. Does that really have 7,000 meters per second? We need that to not just deliver these into orbit around Lathe, but also come back with the pod. We also want to dock the pod. You know what? Maybe we should have a separate return stage. It's just going to be too hard docking this thing to the station anyway. Oh my god, where is it now? <laughs> uh, no, we really want to focus on that. Can we... We'll need power and... We don't strictly need comms with this thing, but we need power. More RTGs or... Oh, let's just do solar panels for once. It is Jewel though. I'm thinking about whether I should add more boosters. Yeah, well, let's just go with it and see what happens. That thrust weight ratio seems fine to me. Let's strut the boosters. Uh, these are much smaller base modules than I had on previous attempts. Yep, let's go with it. Um, we'll need at least one Kerbal to make sure that we get those samples. I don't trust that the samples are going to be transferred without a Kerbal, I don't care. Uh, so, we'll just have... Th this. These don't have remote controllers either. So we're going to put a Kerbal in everything. Um, uh, we'll have one uh, Hudlin Kerman in one Phoenix, Rodford Kerman in another Phoenix, and then in the Gumball, Shelkin Kerman. Sounds good to me. But... Technically, we should have them all three in the Mark 1-3 pod so the launch escape system can work, but meh, okay, it's fine. Let's go. Will it work? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, no, no, we've got... No, the pod probably doesn't have enough mob propellant. Let's revert. Let me give it some more mob propellant for the docking. It might have enough mob propellant. It's close, but I think just for safety's sake, I'll add some more. Okay, that'll be better. Okay, so once again, throttles up, uh, CS is on, ignition, and launch. Maybe I need to move the little planes down. Well, we're past the speed of sound. 
Okay, I think we're okay. We do not need to fix the aerodynamics. Uh, well, the docking port on the nose will probably overheat if I try to get rid of the launch escape system. We'll wait. Oh, things are glowing red. We're getting plasma effects on the way up. Okay, but uh, that caused me to... Once again, not pay attention to what I was supposed to be paying attention to. We didn't put separatrons on the boosters. But it should be okay. Go away cleanly, please. Launch escape system jettison. And swerve activation. Okay, we'll coast. I think I packed way too much Delta V on this thing. I think that's saying that one of our ascending or descending nodes is close by. Nope, 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 it's not. Okay, make course correction, it will be. Okay, go. Ah, go. Alright, this is on its way. I think I'll just follow this one. This is confusing and interesting enough that I'm not gonna launch a second mission during this window. I don't think we're gonna get Leaf to bite on this one particularly. Let's see. Okay, well, we'll just do this correction, I think. Uh, well, that's perfect uh, on the solar panels. We'll just leave it like that. Okay, continuing on to Jewel. We are crashing into something. Probably Jewel. Okay, is that our inclination with respect to Leif? And if so, should we correct that now? We could wait until after we capture, though. It's not letting me click on Leif. Oh, thank you. There we go. Oh, it is my target. Okay, so that is our inclination with respect to Lathe. Well, we've got tons of Delta V and that's probably worth doing. Let's also not crash into Jewel. We really don't need to be so careful about this. We've got a lot of Delta V. I should have just had this whole thing docked to the to the station so it could fill up the station with its spare hydrogen. Fuel system is always fun. We can probably capture here. Now we still have 1.4 degrees. Anyway, we have captured, but there's a Tylo encounter. Um. Right now, it's not going to do anything, I think, so it's okay. Yeah, it doesn't change our inclination much either. Alright, but, well, no, it did do something. We're actually crashing into Jewel here. Uh, great, Tylo, great. But, uh, we can still, we're still going to do a maneuver at Apoapsis to boost ourselves up anyway, so it doesn't matter. This cost us a little bit more Delta V to do that burn up there. Oh, it's got to be close enough, right? Yeah, we're crashing into it. We've got a lot of Delta V, so I don't mind correcting it when we get there. Oh, 
Okay, so that's capture, and then we'll try to get an encounter with our station. But the little planes slash base modules will have to go off before we do that. Well, that's pretty close encounter. Oh, well, yeah, well, we'll figure that out that when we get there. Okay, that's close enough. Okay, we are going to separate off our two little space planes and hope they are still happy. But I should say first, that would be a good idea. Before you rely on things being happy, save. <laughs> okay, off they go. That sounded like a whole lot of things went badly. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe I can go away this way. I think maybe we should just dump this huge stage at this point. 2600 should be enough to do the rest of the business. Alright. It'll save us some trouble, I think. Don't go near the planes. Okay, do I risk... We've got to try and time warp, but those things are like Siamese twins sitting there. Okay. Okay, we are here to pick up the science. Okay, these guys should not do the turning. We need to find a docking port. I'm sort of going slow because I wanted to get into daylight anyway. I, there's a docking port there, I guess we'll take it. Oh, there's daylight. I thought I said you shouldn't be doing rotations. I said it shouldn't be doing rotations. They're still doing rotations. Oh, that's the pods, RCS. Shoot. Okay, no, you also shouldn't be doing rotations. But actually, when we go down, you should be doing rotations. Uh, okay. And I'll probably forget that. Okay, forget it. We'll just turn off RCS for now. Uh, we're going off. We're going off. No, stop. Back off, back off, back off, back, 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 back. Come on, random docking port connectivity. That's really OP in KSP2. Don't fail me now. Ah, oh, it's way off anyway. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, very unnerving. Okay, yeah. Alright, we'll deal with... Okay, it says it merged all research reports. But what about the samples? What about the samples? What, do we have to EVA Shelkin, maybe? Let me just see. Does Shelkin have the science? I guess Shelkin Kerman has 3,000 science in samples. Okay, so fine. We've got it apparently. We had a different pod dock to this and come back to Kerbin without him. So just wanted to make sure, but maybe it was just an order of operations thing. Okay, so Shelkin seems to have 3,000 science in samples. So that's fine. Now these two. These two crazy things. So. 
It's reading both of them at the same time. Uh, you guys probably shouldn't be stuck to each other. I just made one use some of its thrust. It reads these two as one thing. We did decouple them at the same time. It might have gotten confused. Hold on. Let me go to the tracking station. Let me just see what this is. Okay, this is this is a two of them, or is it just one of them? Uh, the problem is the camera's between the two. Which means it's reading the math mass of both. Oh gosh. Um Undock? I mean <laughs> does any one of them say that they're docked together? Are you docked? No. We've got a lot of docking ports. Let's say they're docked together. Maybe putting two of them on was a bad idea. Or maybe if I restart the game later, they'll be okay. I'm gonna save again. I did save before decoupling them, so we can go back to that state and we should decouple them one at a time maybe. Or maybe if I restart the game, they'll be alright and they'll be separate things, I'm not sure. So I'll try both things, but I think I'll try them some other time. I think I'll wrap it up here for this session.